If you guys want to learn the best OBS settings for streaming 1080p 60fps in 2019, then this is the video for you. Be sure to stay tuned. What is going on everybody is once again Oda here bringing you guys another OBS tutorial. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can stream 1080p 60fps with no lag and whether you have a really bad computer or a really good computer this guide will definitely help you out a lot. So anyways let's get right into it. So of course the first thing you're going to do is open up OBS Studio. Once you've opened up OBS Studio all you're going to do is go down here to the bottom right and click settings and this is where we're going to be changing everything now once you have your settings box open go over here to the left and click output this is where your settings are really going to matter the most so once you're here make sure first of all that output mode is selected to advanced and that you are also clicked onto the streaming tab now if you're like me and you have an nvidia graphics card go ahead and go over to encoder and select nvidia nvenc h.264 new now due to this being the most up-to-date encoder it will definitely be the best one to choose so just make sure you select that one or whatever the newest one is if you're watching this later make sure enforce streaming service encoder settings is checked and now we're really going to get to the good stuff so make sure ray control is selected to cbr and once it's selected is a CBR make sure your bitrate is set to 6000 now if you do have bad internet then you can go ahead and change this to 4000 but if you do have good internet it's definitely better to buff it up to 6000 just make sure you don't go over 6000 as this can create a buffer for your viewers and you definitely do not want that then make sure keyframe interval is selected to 2 make sure preset is selected to max quality to get the max quality of course because the other ones, they don't really improve your performance by much. Uh, I found that they actually feel the exact same, but max quality does look the best. So make sure you have that selected. Make sure profile is selected to high. Now make sure look ahead is unchecked, and I'll explain why in a little bit. Psycho visual tuning is checked. It really makes your stream look a lot better without causing any lag gpu i think default is zero so just leave it to zero and max b frames this is usually at two on default but make sure you change it to one and that's why we have look ahead unchecked because we changed our max b frames and i found that max b frames selected to one instead of two is one of the biggest improvements that not a lot of people really know about for me it makes my gameplay a lot less laggy while i'm streaming and it doesn't affect the quality at all now recording i do have my own recording settings that i have tuned to make it the best without getting any lag but since we're only going over streaming settings we're going to skip that now if you guys do want a video on the best recording settings be sure to leave a comment down below and like this video just so I know. I would definitely upload that tutorial if enough people request it. But for now, we're going to go over to the audio tab. Once you're here, make sure all these are selected to 320. Once you've done that, go over here to the left side and click on video. Make sure your base and output resolutions are the exact same. I recommend having it to your monitor's native resolution, which most times it is 1920 by 1080. And make sure downscale filter is selected to the lang sauce. And make sure you select this to common FPS values and change it to whatever you'd like. I recommend 60 but some people can't stream at 60 fps that is ultimately up to you and now we're going to go over to the advanced tab so once you're here make sure that process priority by default it's on normal but make sure you select it to above normal that will make your gameplay a lot less laggy and this is really important and it's often looked over if you've changed these settings in this video box that your renderer is selected to direct 3d or whatever it is usually there's just one option color format on nv12 yuv color space 601 and color range partial if you have these changed it makes your stream incredibly laggy i don't know why but i found that out a few weeks ago so just make sure that's on the default settings and then once you're done with all that you can click apply and okay and now there's one more tip i'd like to show you guys that will make your gameplay a lot less laggy and simply all you do is while you're streaming right click on this gray area around your preview and click enable preview to turn it off i found that that decreases your cpu usage therefore resulting in a less laggy stream if you're finding that your stream is still laggy try disabling your preview it could help i know it helped me out when i had a bad computer and then if you want to enable the preview again just right click anywhere here and click enable preview and you will see that it comes back so yeah guys that is pretty much it for this tutorial if this did help you out please be sure to leave a like and subscribe as that would really mean a lot to me also like the video and leave a comment down below if you want to see more tutorials like this one and uh yeah thank you all so much for watching hope this helped i will see you all in my next video peace out everybody